Well, shouldn't the guest be the one that be waiting? But no, I gotta wait for her to be ready before we can start this. Hold on. Yes. What's up? Got you. Got what it is. I have to snap this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you are new to my <laughs> if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today we have here with us JC. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> so today we will be doing the African sister tag. But JC. So JC, we would just answer a couple of questions here. I'm from Ghana and JC's from Kenya, but you know, she'll go into that herself. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna take turns basically answering these questions to our prospective countries. So let's just get into the program video. Okay. What African country are you from? Ghana. I am from Kenya. What is your ethnicity? My ethnicity is <laughs> African American. Um, my ethnicity is African American too, but I would identify as African before I identify as of African course. American. First and foremost. <laughs> what is your African name and what does it mean? Okay, so in um, the Akan culture, uh, depending on the day that you're born, you're given a name that's a part of your identity. So for a Saturday female born, I'm known as Ama. My family calls me Nyachula, so that basically means daughter of the Chula Island. How many languages can you speak? How African languages can you speak? Two, my mother tongue, which is Luo, and Swahili. I can speak tree, but I also kind of understand Gong. Say something in all languages you speak. In tree, I can say, I will say, um, Tsnase, which means sit down. And then Ga Tashi means sit down. Everybody knows Jumbo. Jumbo! That means hi or sema if you're it's informal. Um, in Lua we say beraina. That means like very well. That's a greeting. Okay. Were you born in Africa? Yes, I was born in Ghana. I was actually born here. Do you currently live in Africa though? We are in America. What was the last time you were in Africa? Beginning of 2017. <clears throat> Uh, for my grandfather's funeral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah. My last time was last year, December, so December of 2017 as well. Yeah. Okay. If you were born in Africa and live in another country from 1 to 10, how FOB are you? <laughs> I can be FOB <laughs> when I'm with my family, but when I'm with, like, you know, my friends, I'm not. I think on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm like a 4 FOB. I only say that because like sometimes my accent Girl, slips out six, and then also... 7. seven. <laughs> wow. Anyway, so sometimes my accent slips out and also sometimes it doesn't. But then also there are times where like when I'm in school, I walk around in my cloth if I have to do laundry. I use it as a robe. Like I just do some things that she has I do. Now. Yeah, wow. She has it expels me. But yeah, I do. But <laughs> so I just what do is it called? We don't call it African cloth. Put some respect on it. Oh, into my, I'm maybe shame into my CCR because favorite African music. <sighs> this is hard. Yeah, everybody listens to Afro beats. Like Afro beats is lit. Mm -hmm. But I really like Lingala. Lingala comes from like the French speaking countries. Um, Gabon. Cameroon would have to be more on a gospel side, mm. especially like um, Joe Meadow, Nathaniel Bassey. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. But I don't know, something about African gospel music really touches my spirit. Mm. Like, I just I can feel like I'm just, uh, it's just something the Holy Spirit just comes upon you mm -hmm. when you listen to African gospel music. My favorite African food? It depends. Yeah. If we talk that's true. West, that's true. If we're talking West Africa, mm -hmm. yo, y'all have y'all just love rice. But which country? You right, you right. Um, no, that's tough. Liberia and Nigeria are the best ones I've had. Have you ever had Ghanaian jollof? I've had it once, and we're just gonna scrap this from the video. <laughs> Kenyan sausages. 
Yo, once you have a Kenyan sausage, you will never eat those little crunchy little um favorite food. I guess you're right. It will depend where I'm from. I mean, where I'm looking at, but I really do love Ethiopian food. That's because I have um, Ethiopian, a lot of Ethiopian friends, but injera and sauces and all that stuff. When I'm in the mood for that, and you're right, samosas is so good, actually. I've had okay. some. Yeah, okay. I should have Ethiopian food. Wow, well, they are good. But if we're in West Africa, you know, I'm gonna hit you with that Ghana and Jalof. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> okay, so favorite African movie? Beyonce. And Sierra. The fact that we both know that. <laughs> Yo. Yo. Beyonce. <laughs> I gotta find out. We gotta rewatch it. And, and there's like a part one, part, part two, part three, part four. Beyonce and Sierra. <laughs> Yo, Beyonce. every African kid has to have watched those series. Yeah. Oh, I love Aki and Papa movies. They're old school, mm -hmm. but and the Jaco movies. If you're gonna you know what I'm talking about, but yeah, those movies. What do you hate most about Africa? I hate Africa as a whole. The thing that I or really Sub-Saharan Africa. Sub-Saharan Africa. Sub -Saharan <laughs> Africa. <laughs> because the what that was corruption in Africa. I think that corruption has really. Mm -hmm been an issue where um that has caused poverty that has caused um unemployment a lot of discrepancies in africa as so in africa as a whole you know in terms of like the poverty which i do not blame africans for mm -hmm. you know given the history colonialism and deep and decolonialism de de yeah. too but de -colonialism. i guess in ghana something i dislike I really dislike how people don't take their safety serious. When I was there in December, there was literally this guy on a highway driving backwards on a highway. Bruh. Back, I was just like, and people crossing highways, you know, that's really Taxi common. Taxi like, with beers in their, uh, I wish, in their seats. I wish people would just take uh, their safety a little bit more seriously. I but regardless, <laughs> all countries are corrupt, you know? In There's a, a lot yeah. of problems in ev even mm -hmm. in the United States. People think this is a perfect world, but Look at where we're at. What do you love most about Afrique? Everything. Would you everything. Just, you said everything too? Yeah. Everything. Everything. The food. From the food to the languages to the vibe. The to vibe. The sand. Family to oriented. Someone's FaceTiming me. You're not about to speak up. FaceTime probably made on my YouTube <laughs> video. <laughs> I'm going to call you back. What around your house represents your culture? This right here represents me and my culture best just because every time I put it on, wrap it on, I'll, I'll post a video here, but when I'm wearing this video, I would usually wear it like this around the house or I'm going to laundry and everyone's always like, oh my God, that dress is so nice. Where are you going? And I'm just like, yo, this is literally like, it's my way to the point. Bitch, I can get Like, I'm just not. I'm literally just wearing it around the house. Oh, yeah. I immediately knew she was African. I immediately knew she was African actually. The first yeah. like two seconds I looked at her because of her wrist and like yeah. the Kenya bracelet. Because I was like, okay, either she's like mm -hmm. someone who's been to Kenya just absolutely fell in love with it or she is Kenyan. What is a ridiculous question you were asked about your culture? Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a um, couple. This is the one I hate the most. And you I know you'll agree. You speak African. Oh my god, I know you was about to say it. I knew you was about to say there that. There is no language it's called African. <laughs> Africa is not a country. What I said? It is not a country. <laughs> it is a continent with over 60, 60, uh, oh there's 54 countries in the continent of Africa, and Africa is the second largest con uh, continent in the entire world, mm -hmm. I believe, after Asia. Okay. Right? Sure. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm just gonna cut off. But I'm doing <laughs> research. But I think I'm right. Um, but yeah, a lot of people have, I have gotten that question before. Those kind of questions just kind of, they just throw me off my balance, honestly. Because yes. I just can't believe people have access to this much technology in America and they right. don't. Finger. Mm. What do you plan to give back? to Africa my knowledge mm. resources right there's a lack of resources right but I think the biggest one I would at least try to tackle would be education 
just because I think education and knowledge is the key to everything. Um, when do you plan next to go back to Afrique? December! Um, the last question calls for a song. She doesn't know what the last question is, but I'm gonna put on a song. And let's see what her reaction is. Okay? Okay. So, so last question is, I'm waiting for the beat to drop. Y'all ready? Are you proud to be African? Ah! Yes! Of course! Hey, hey, hey. Come on, go, go. Hey. 